Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we are going to be doing gameplay with the brand new Pink Diamond Paul Pierce. And I know for a fact this Paul Pierce does not have a very good release. With that being said, I'm going to try my best to have as much fun as possible with the card. I think he moves pretty well. I think he'll be okay. I think the release really holds him back from even being like an A-tier shooting guard, let alone an S-tier shooting guard, but he looks okay. So we're going to try him out. I know there are some Paul Pierce fans out there. I've gotten multiple comments asking for a Paul Pierce gameplay. So here I'll go. Big shout out to my boy uh, EDZ for letting me hop on his account to record the gameplay. Really appreciate that a ton. And yeah, if y'all haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 18,000 subscriber mark on the channel we are right on track to hit at that at the very end of january we need about 50 subscribers per day so would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado top right into it i so or sorry the truth is 99 offense 94 defense six foot seven at shooting guard is what we're going to use them in today's gameplay 92 driving layup 94 close shot 94 mid-range 95 three ball 90 standing dunk or sorry 90 driving dunk 75 standing with a 90 free throw 90 ball handle not a terrible defender either 80 block 86 interior 88 steel and perimeter 88 speed 84 Excel, 87 speed ball, 90 lateral quickness, 85 strength, 80 vert, 95 stamina. Like his stats are solid. They're not insane, but they're pretty good. 17 hoffs include posterizer, agent three, catch and shoot, corner specialist, guard up, handles for days, challenger, off ball pest, free points, physical handles, bulldozer among like the good ones. Uh, he's got gold fast twitch, post spin, blinders, claymore, dead eye, limitless, green machine, bailout, break starter, unpluckable, clamps, interceptor, pick dodger, post lockdown, pogo stick, precision dunker, two step, whistle, big driver, blow by, triple strike, silver glove, and post fade phenom. You know what badges he does not have our anchor and i do not believe he has speed booster either which is honestly i think a very important badge so it's very disappointing that mr pierce does not have a speed booster but we're gonna do our best with them we're gonna try them out we're gonna see what we think of the card in today's gameplay i know he does have Kyrie dribble style which is arguably the best dribble style in the game i'd say it's at least like top two or three it's right there with dbook dribble style and a couple others that steph curry drag back is good as well so or that might be john oh, no i think that one is steph curry i'm not totally sure if that one's john wall or steph curry but i think it is uh Kyrie dribble style is very good so you have legit movement up ability with this uh paul Pierce card the one thing that he does not have though unfortunately is a very good release this his catch and shoot release I mean it's not horrifically awful but it's pretty ugly and it's pretty slow it's definitely a baited release I wouldn't say it's like quite honestly last year I would say it was worse uh it was uglier last year than it is this year I think this is a better card than any Paul Pierce that we've gotten in the last couple years like this is the best Paul Pierce we've gotten in a while at the same time without quick first step without being a truly insane defender I mean he's a good defender but he's not incredible and without an elite release I find it hard to believe he's in He's definitely not S tier shooting guard. A tier is like borderline, but he's a borderline top 10 shooting guard. Like, I think he's a pretty good card, and the shooting guard position is pretty deep. I just don't think he's truly insane. So, top into a game, see what the truth can do. Not an awful opponent, but also not a truly elite one here. He's got uh, Lamelo Ball, Jordan Poole at the two, Shaq at the five who can't shoot. That hurts his, kill, kind of kills his spacing. His team's okay. Chet and Jimmy are pretty good. I mean, it's not a bad squad, but it's also not an elite one is how I would rate this team for sure. Kick it to the corner, first possession. Jordan Poole is not a bad defender with his Evo, obviously. By the way, Paul Pierce's fade is normal fade, which is a very, very good one. One of my, I would say it's one of my favorite three or four fades in this game. So it's a very, very solid fade for sure. And that's a pretty good start to the game let's just put paul pierce on ball why not let's see what he can do defensively throw him on ball as well and uh let's see what he can do man he's got pretty good defensive badges all the way around except for on the interior but he's got pretty good size the two like i don't think he's gonna be a bad defender at all i'm not sure he's gonna be an insane one he does go a little too far under that screen but even half limitless range that's a deep shot and he's not able to hit it uh we're gonna see if we can attack downhill here try to fat stop ourselves into an open three we got a decent look let's go paul pierce nice shot good little move right there creating some separation from jordan pool and and a uh, very, very nice bucket there with Paul Pierce. Good defense. Now watch the back door. Beautiful stuff. Hakeem's helping over. We don't even, oh, I can just, oh, I, he got went way under that screen. That was good shot by LaMelo. That was not great defense there. Probably got a, that was probably my fault, honestly, though. I kind of was off ball in there and he uh, got my off ball CPU into the screen. So credit to him, right? Burst in here, going downhill. Paul Pierce just attacked through uh, Jordan Poole. That should be it. Yo, you need I need to get a finish out of that or something. I need a more aggressive layup animation. He's got a physical physicality advantage there that I would have liked to see better or used, but um, it is what it is. Uh, let's see what we can do defensively. See if he crosses over. I was trying to take the ball out of his hand if he crossed over. A little early on my reach there probably with Luca. And um, we're up 5-3, to three, so not a bad start to this game by any means, but also not an incredible one. Uh, Paul Pierce kind of has to be my primary ball handler in this game. Obviously, Adam Morrison can do some of that as well. That's a terrible shot. Uh, but Shaq gets the board over two dudes, and it leads to a wide-open Chet 3. 
Wow, that is... I mean, there is one thing Shaq is... Well, Shaq is good for everything, really, except for shooting the ball. So even though he kills your spacing, sometimes plays like that will be like, dang, that Shaq is really annoying still. Even though he's a season one card, he can still be impactful in a lot of ways. Uh, I wish Paul Pierce had speed booster, man. I think his ability to attack off the dribble would be a little better. It just feels like laterally, it's not that hard for a defender like Jordan Poole. He's a pretty solid perimeter defender to uh, stay in front of him. I just don't think he's going to be beating, especially an elite tier defender off the dribble. Like, I don't think he's beating Kawhi Leonard or Ron Artest off the dribble very much. Good drive, though, and one. Very good. Good. That's that's nice. That Kyrie dribble style is good, man. It does give you the ability to get downhill at a high level. And Paul Pierce is a very solid finisher. Free throw release is slow, but it does go in. He's got half free points, so just gonna have to remember that the free throw release is slow there because I shot a an early, and I think that was pretty close to a very early, probably. But I just got lucky it went in because the half free points. Watch the back door. Good defense. Go under. Get a, oh my gosh, he got killed by another screen, yo. Not super impressed by the perimeter defense. Obviously, Shaq does have half brick wall. But at the same time, I would have liked to have been able to get through that screen a little bit better, uh, especially because I was using the screen. Get inside, standing dunk. Beautiful job, Paul Pierce. That could have been a steal, but we'll take the bucket. He's got all 10 of our points. And we're in a tie game. We just got to get ourselves some stops at this point. Going to have to find a way to get through some screens and play some defense at this point. Good D, Paul. Let's go. Way to redeem yourself. We're going to Euro step to the rim. Oh, I tried to hop. Bro. I tried to Euro step. They did like a hop step, and then Paul Pierce just dropped the ball. That is so garbage. Stay there on Jordan Poole. Get through the screen. Got to contest this time. There we go. Much better job. That's a bad shot, to be honest. I will take it. It should be my ball, right? I don't know if I'm Roadrunners or not. I think I'm Roadrunners. Okay, that's my ball. Good. Beautiful stuff. All right. Paul Pierce has pretty good stamina left. Uh, we're only halfway through the game. I mean, a little over halfway through the game. Still got a decent amount of gameplay left. But attack the rim here. Hit it to back to our pop. Let's go jab step here. Spin off the jab. Top step. Ooh, nice finish. I like that layup animation. Aggressive downhill drive. Going out of that jab step and attacking the rim. You love to see that. And that's a really nice finish for Paul Pierce. Um, I'm going to see if I can go a little bit of isolation next possession. If he'll on ball. If he's off balling, I got to go back to pick and roll. But I'll try to get some isolation, do some different stuff with him if I can. If I can go against some on ball defense. If I'm going against off ball, it might just be boxed. We'll see. A good defense by Lucas. Step high with Paul Pierce. Let's play through the screen. Good defense. That's anticipating the screen. That was good by me, too. Good. Oh, get the. Oh, good defense chat. Let's go. I'm not certain he would have finished that or not. Uh, Lamelo kind of blew by at the very end of the possession there, but Chad came over and helped. And I would say all in all, that was a pretty good defensive possession by Paul Pierce. I liked that, and I thought we played pretty well as well on the defensive end. Now, let's see if we can space the floor. And, oh, I'm not in my freelance. I haven't been in my freelance all game. He is on balling though, so. Oh, and I got plucked immediately as soon as I crossed over. Gosh dang it. That's unfortunate. I was trying to, I was trying to ISO there, and I immediately get plucked. That's crazy. Uh, oh, I, oh, he threw the wrong pass because I rotated off of Lamelo and he threw it back to Lamelo. Good defense here. Swing. Good. Rotate here. Help. That's not a good shot. Good defense. Help off a little bit. Help off. Play this hash. That's a contest. And that should be a leak out. And Paul Pierce might go all the way. He is going to go all the way. 90 driving dunk finishing at the rim. Paul Pierce Love to see it. 14 points in this game. And this dude I'm playing isn't terrible. He's not amazing, but he's certainly not terrible. Paul Pierce has done a pretty good job. Like, I think this Paul Pierce is more viable than people think. That doesn't mean he's incredible, but that does mean he's, like, pretty solid is what I would say about this card. Uh, he's not the best small forward in the game or best shooting guard in the game for sure, but, like, he's not a bad option either. Good fade, although apparently it's super early, so maybe not. And I think that is going to be his ball. So four point lead with 41 seconds left. Feeling pretty good about this game. That was a bad fade there. Just did not get close to timing it right. Uh, normal fade is a good fade. I think his upper kind of slows down his fade a little bit, though, I will say. At least it felt like it there. Or maybe that's just stamina that slowed down the fade there. But either way, uh, was not going to be able to green that shot with that type of delay. Oh, that's a good move. We're good, though. Yep, we're playing it. Beautiful defense. And this should just be another run out. Okay, why did you stop? He stopped running. I, I was throwing it across court so that I could... Okay, what is he doing, bro? That was, I was a, I should have, I feel like that should have been a run out dunk for Paul Pierce and he just didn't run up the court. That was very weird. Throw it up to Luca. Now, Luca, drive the ball and now kick it out to Paul Pierce. Catch. We're going to go corner here and we're going to hit a fade if we can. Fade for me, Paul. His, yeah. It, it's, I think it's the upper, slowing down the fade. This card's okay, but he's not elite, is my main conclusion about Paul Pierce. We did win the game. Apparently, that somehow went in. The flick up 100% smothered, but it didn't count, so it's fine. Uh, 14 points, one steal, six and nine, one and three from three. I think he played pretty good. I, I don't think he's amazing. His movement's pretty good. His release is kind of mid. Um, he's a pretty good slasher, but he doesn't move incredibly fast. He's a decent, but not incredible defender. He's probably a B-tier shooting guard. He's not incredible. He's not awful either. If you want to use him, you certainly can, but I don't think he's like going to be elite either. So That's my conclusion, and I hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.